Hi honeybees, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chloe Elise back at again with another YouTube video. So I know you guys haven't seen me in a long time and that's okay. We're gonna get all into that once we get into the video, but I hope that you enjoy this. It's a get ready with me. Um, I'm going to brunch right now, so that's about it. Um, a little makeup therapy as well. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. So, um, I'm not going to do like an updated makeup routine and tell you all the products that I use or whatever, but I already went ahead and washed my face, um, moisturized, and then primed my face. Y'all need to get this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Like, this is like golden. Like, why it needs to focus because this is fire. <sighs> yes, y'all need to go get this because one thing about milk. It's going to grip that face, okay? It's going to. So, um, I'm about to go ahead and do my eyebrows. But I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all like a life update. Because I told y'all that um, I was going to be consistent and I'm not consistent. So, yeah, there's that. I just have not have the mo had the motivation to do like nothing. Like, and don't talk about my bob because I know it's flipped up. I know it's flipped up. But... I just haven't had the motivation to do anything. Like, I don't know what to do with my life because I don't know what I'm supposed to do in life. So I'm trying to figure that out. Like, I'm in a job right now. Like, I like it, but it's just like, I know this is not my passion. I don't see me doing this for years on top of years. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if I want to use it or I just want to use my brow gel. Um, but I'm an outline, but I'm not going to fill in y'all probably are like what's going on like why does she always like ghost us it's not that i tried to ghost y'all it's just the fact that i just don't have the motivation and it's like so many people that i meet and i always tell them i'll be just like oh my god like you're so like that would be you would be so great at that and it's just like i have the potential to do whatever i put my mind to but i just don't have the motivation to do it like i have so many great ideas and i always just let them go to waste can y'all hear me? My fan is a little loud. Um, so yeah, I just really don't know what I'm supposed to do and how am I supposed to fix that? Like, how do you get motivation? Like, I am not gonna lie, like my mental health hasn't been the best. So I think that's a part of the reason why I just have not been uploading. Anything that I produce, I don't think is like greatness. It's just like no point. And have to learn that what i mean but no i feel like you should love what you put out i'm looking at the mirror over here if y'all wonder what i'm looking at um um if y'all hear a, a shower it's diamond on the phone um i really just forgot what i was saying <laughs> what do i just say Oh, I feel like you should love um, anything that you produce or you put out. So, it's like, if you don't love it, like, even if other everybody else will love it. I feel like I just need that satisfaction of, like, this is something that I am so happy about putting out in this, that, and the third. So, I feel like that about, like, my book. Like, I'll write and complete it. And I'll just be like, this sucks. But I am like my like biggest critic, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what I'm about to wear to brunch today because it's a little chilly in Cleveland, Ohio. So I don't know what I'm about to do. I really don't. I'm about to put some brow gel on, just a smidge because I like how natural my brows look. Um. But yeah, y'all, I just, I've been just going with the flow. I'm going through, like, a few phases right now. Um, it's not really who I am as a person, but it's just something that I'm liking to do right now. So, we'll see. Um, I've, I've, like, forgotten how to, like, 
um, communicate with people a little bit. Like, it's kind of bad. Y'all want to know what brow gel I just used? I just got it. It's from ColourPop. And then I got the color um, dark brown. It doesn't look dark brown when you pull it out. But it's dark brown. And my eyebrows look kind of great. So, yeah. It's just been a lot, man. It really has. Like, I just really don't know what God has next for my life. Because it's just... I am in a blank space right now. I'm in a very blank space. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, when I'm supposed to do it, how I'm supposed to do it. And I saw this post on Instagram and it's just like, it's taking me a little bit longer because I'm doing everything by myself or something like that along the lines. And it's just like, that's really me. Like, I'm really getting it out the mud myself. Like, nothing was ever handed to me. Like, ever. But that's okay. I know that at some point in my life, I will be this successful person and these thoughts and these doubts would not be worth it, but worth it because it's just like, I'm going to surprise myself. Like, wow. I just have to figure out like, what is my niche? What am I supposed to do? What is my passion? Cause once I figured that out, money matters, but as long as I'm doing my passion and what I love to do, like, I see no wrong in anything so that's like my story and I'm sticking to it did y'all listen to Summer Walker's album that too fire I listen to that album every single day my favorite song I know right now is throw it away it used to be broken promises but I played the song out so much that um it's turned to throw it away I love reciprocate um, and it's another song. Oh, I like Fourth Baby Mama. I like Session 33, but I don't think Session 33 was Session 33 worthy. So, it's a good song. I just don't think it was Session 33 worthy. But, yeah. I haven't been to brunch since my birthday. And... I really go back to work tomorrow, y'all. Like, I've been living my life. I really been living my life. Back to the basics. Getting up every day. Not staying up late anymore. Um. Yeah. in a phase like I really want a boyfriend like I say that but like I really am so peaceful with my life right now like I want a boyfriend but like I just been so peaceful like it's just it's very peaceful just to be by yourself it's lonely and boring sometimes but it's so much peace like I listen to like oh, my friend talk about like oh my god like he's irritating me so bad right now like I mean people irritate me like I text people but like actually having that like whole fiasco of like you're really mad you're really mad that a person is not responding to you or like all this and above like i be like dang like, he really didn't text me back like that's fried but liking somebody and no they don't text you back but they're on social media mm. That's just a sad, sad case. That's a sad case. And when I like somebody, it's just not. It never comes out well. It never is. But, um, I'm about to do the rest of my eyes and then I'm going to come back. Because I got to figure out some other things to talk about. Some other things to talk about. So, yeah. Watch this be in fast motion. <laughs> Oh, that's what cheaters. That's what I could talk about. <laughs> Not cheaters. I got so much to talk about in that department. You irritate. You know I do. Like I got stories to tell my kids for weeks. You irritate. Like,
all I ever got was dudes that was had girlfriends. All oh, that's all mommy got. You irritating. Mommy got nobody else. People with ba newly baby moms. People what? With newly baby moms. People Girl. that's been married. People that's been with their girlfriend. Just fried. Like, I just never can have a happy ending. <laughs> you never. I don't want to talk to them no way. Like, y'all are done. Like, I talk to y'all and I don't want to talk to y'all no more. Okay, y'all so i'm back um i did my eyes i don't do eyeshadow i only put brown eyeshadow on my eyes and um i use the revelation um revelation that's how you know i need to go to church revolution glow and it is in the it's the matte bronzer the well the splendor ultra matte blonde bronzer i can't talk today and it's in the color medium it's i bought it for like a contour like um like a contour powder y'all it don't look that dark on camera but it's really dark like it does not look too hot on my skin so i use it as a brown smoky eye type of vibe that's what i go for y'all know i only use nars like um they need to sponsor me because like i love nars um yeah so as i was sitting here talking to diamond like what do i have else to talk about i'm like let's talk about my life for the past few months right um i promise y'all like how you said like my love life my love life is non-existent it has never existed in life okay i have never talked to anybody because i don't claim anyone and it's a simple fact that people who do try to talk to me they always try to talk to me like they have a girlfriend like i've like what like god i deserve a man <laughs> i deserve a man not a little boy and that's what it's giving. So, all I ever get is men who, or not even get, people who want to talk to me. Men with girlfriends, wives. We've, they've went as far as wives, y'all. For what? You cheating on your wife? Like, girlfriend is one thing. Girlfriend is one thing. I'm not saying like, you should, like that don't hold no weight, but a girlfriend is one thing. A wife, that's, disrespectful this is why i feel like marriage is not meant for me because i don't know how i could take somebody like like i literally said vows in front of our families maybe kids at that point i don't know and you cheat on me like i don't know like that's too sad what else would i like to talk about um i really want to get like a whole new face like i really want to get all new like makeup products i have like expanded my makeup not expanded i have you know changed my makeup routine up a few times but it's just still not hitting like the way i would like it to hit so yeah i'm supposed to be at brunch at 145 it's 12 32 i think we're good on time y'all i think we're good on time i'm almost done with my face i have to get dressed i need to send this email and we'll be out I really um want to move like I really want to move out of state um I think I deserve that much right y'all I think I deserve to move out of state I don't think my soulmate is in Cleveland it's definitely not in Cleveland like you would have to have just moved here like you're definitely if you're a Cleveland native you're not my soulmate um a Clevelander is what they call them and yeah so i need to move and once i move i feel like life would just be better because i'm not really gonna know anyone that's gonna be lonely for a while like how do you move how do you meet friends when you move to a new state like we don't go to school anymore like what you really have to go out but like you have to talk to people while you're out like hey you're so pretty like i love your outfit da 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 then what you want to say like we should be friends 
follow me on Instagram? <laughs> like, how do you make friends in this day and age now? Social media. But then it's like, that's fried because they could really be a snake. Like, you, ha you can't even feel them out for real because they're on social media. They're behind the screen. So, like, you're like, oh, like, she's so cool. If she get in person, you like, why did I bring her out? Why did I bring her out? So, I don't know. I think about that, those type of things every single day. Like, when I move, like, how do, am I supposed to meet people? Like, I have one friend where I want to move. One friend. And by the time I try to move there, she's going to be moving out. So, yeah. It's a no-go. Somebody just asked me, what am I doing today? Like, or... Like, it's just like, why that every time I have something to do, somebody always texts me, what are you doing today? Like, bro, I've already made plans. Now I have to break it to you that I've made plans. You irritate. And, yeah. I really want to try the Tarte or Tarte concealer. I have not bought that yet and I am cheap. So I feel like buying that little tube for $30 is ridiculous. Like, all right, that's too, that's too much. Like for that little tube of concealer, I'm not buying that. I said, well, my e.l.f. cosmetics, that's $6 and it's a great coverage. Great. And I just don't understand anybody who would make a tube that little and say it's $30. <laughs> like, but people say it's so fire. So I guess the $30 is worth it. But yeah, you're going to have to catch me like on a good day where I like really want it. Because it's so many times I've picked that up in the store and I've put it right back. Like, I'm definitely not paying $30 for this. Like. I'm just not like that's fry. Who does that? And I don't understand why everything has to be so expensive in life. Like, why does anything have to be expensive? Why do we have to pay for food? <laughs> why do we have to pay for food? We need to survive. Like, we have to pay for a water bottle. I'm thirsty. If I don't drink any water, I'm going to pass out. Like, why do I have to? Like, okay, food, like, you know, they have restaurants and stuff. Like, Okay, we could pay for that, but the grocery store? We have to pay for the groceries? Like, that's fried. That's fried to me. Anything in life is expensive. Like, groceries for one person is literally still like $100. Like, what? For you to not even eat the food, to put it in your refrigerator, make one meal, and eat out. <laughs> that's me. I would eat one thing that I bought from the grocery store and then just start eating out because I don't want to, I don't want to be bothered. Or, no, I only go grocery shopping when I'm trying to go on a diet. So that's my problem. Everything in the house that I have is healthy. I don't want that. So, now I'm about to go out and get me some burgers because that's what I want. <laughs> burgers and fries. And there's no shame in my game about it. I will lose weight. When I feel like it, you have to be in the correct mindset. Right now, my mindset is on steak and shake. That's it. <laughs> so, anybody, Diamond knows. Anybody that knows, I'm, hi, my name is Chloe, and I am addicted to steak and shake burgers. Specifically, the garlic steak burger. If you have not tried that and it's a steak and shake in your state, your city, go try that. <laughs> I will not steer you wrong. I promise you I will not steer you wrong. Garlic butter on a burger? That was, that's top, top tier. Steak and shakes are going out of business. And it's like, ha, like y'all are so good. <laughs> like, what? Like, I literally probably had steak and shake for like the last two weeks. Like, at least twice a week. That's bad. And it's so cheap. It's so cheap. Like, it's so cheap. Well, the three ninety nine mil is. But she don't get a drink with that. And I want to shake. So. I just bought this Acceler one. That's still not bad. But it's about $9. But you go to Wendy's and spend 15 
and still be hungry so yeah but if I, I i said i had a meeting the other day and we talked about like how um if you were a a, a food what would you be i definitely would be a burger like i would definitely be a burger there's no if ands or buts about it i would be a burger what would y'all be i don't know i feel like i would be a burger in something be a french fry like i love potatoes so much i would be a potato too i'm already a potato in real life y'all got the hint so might as well be one <laughs> and yeah and i've just been noticing lately like my nine nose is so like i look like a pig I look like Miss Piggy. Like, I stare in the mirror like my nose is really piggy. Like, <laughs> it's like not cute. It's not cute. And then my eyes, like when I don't have lashes, lashes take me from a different person. I won't lie. Like, I look totally different. But without lashes, I look, my eyes are like, like, I'm not going to say that because that's racist. Um, sl they're not slanted, but I'm not gonna say it because that's just so racist. So y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, don't act like y'all don't. Don't act like y'all two goodies, sh two shoes, and y'all don't say racist terms because y'all do. Um, but I'm not gonna say it because that's racist, and I'm not a racist. It's just how I describe my eyes. And y'all know what I'm talking about because y'all have seen me without lashes. So, yeah. Oh, let me tell you, I'm, when I'm on the subject, why did I go to the nail shop, right? Went to the nail shop. I got my nails done. And I'm asking Diamond. I'm on the phone with Diamond. Like, you think I should get my nails? No, I text her. Like, you think I should get my nails done today? I'm just like, okay. Like, I feel like if I get my toes done, I might as well get my nails done. That's just how I think right so she like yeah might as well right so i'm like cool i'm just go back to the place that i went to last time and like they usually have it be kind of slow in there and it was like i liked my work last time but the girl that i did my nails um she wasn't there or she was booked up for today i don't know they probably lied but um so i go in there i'm like okay like i want to do french right um she's like oh pink and white i'm like yeah we could do a pink and white set that's fine Y'all, she used pink acrylic powder, like pink, pink, powder pink on a pink set. A pink and white set is a clear pink, clear pink. Like what? Yes. Used, <laughs> used the acrylic powder pink. Like I'm getting an ombre set. Like that makes no sense. And then gonna show it to me like, like, hmm? Um, so my camera just like canceled out on me. I don't know why, maybe it was too long of a video. But yeah, she's like, uh, yeah, so you, oh, she showed she showed it to me. So I'm just like, I guess, and she's my son. Um, it's coming along, it's coming along. Like I'm looking at these smile lines for this like French tip. I said, she better fix this. Like it better come out like, like nice and after she you know filed it down it actually looks a little bit nicer but i'm like is she dumb like what are you dumb like why would you think that is a pink and white set then she's going to get up and go to lunch after she's done with my nails so you rushed <laughs> so you rushed that's why you was going so fast and you didn't care what kind of pink and white set. Now, what if I said I didn't like my nose and you need to start over? Now you're not going to lunch. Or she wasn't going to lunch. She probably was going home. Like, you're fried. You're fried. So then I'm like, yeah, I'm not even getting no French tip on my toes because y'all have me messed up. So I get white. I get white. And it's still... <laughs> this lady... Y'all ain't never seen no lady use no, like, thing to rake y'all polish off. Right? Never. Like, if you have, um, if you have gel, they usually take a drill, 
they start drilling it off, correct? This lady put some type of potion, whatever, oil, whatever she used, liquid on my toes and on my toes. And then like, I, she let it sit for like five minutes and then she started raking my polish off. Where did you learn that at? <laughs> like, nobody taught you that. Like, nobody. And they killed me showing, all that, showing you that little paper, like, which pedicure do you want? Lady, when I got the spa pedicure last time, y'all used Tree Hut, um, sugar. The, um, sugar, the scrub, sugar scrub. I could do that at home. Why I need you to do it? Like, no. And y'all only give people hot towels for, like, two seconds. No, I'm not paying for that. No. So, I told her Express. And they don't even have Express on their, um, the paper that they give you. You have to read it from the brochure. That's how they get you. Because the cheapest is $40. And that's the spa pedicure. And they barely give you a spa pedicure because you come out not even liking your toes. Then, I get to the tip thing, right? So, I always, like, I, you, uh, y'all, I used to not tip. But, <laughs> okay? I used to not tip nobody, but I've gotten into the spirit to do that. And they're talking about $16, $16 was like the 15%, right? So I'm just like, I'm not giving y'all that because y'all did not do my nails the way I show her a picture, y'all. I show her a picture and she still, I said small lines, like small, like, um, like when Frenchies, when you have like short nails, like I wanted a small line of white, small, very small. Skinny, I should say. Very skinny. She gave me these thick. They not even that thick, but did I ask for that? No, I'm not giving y'all no tip. And who does it even go to? If you got service by two people, do they split it? Like, mm-mm. So, she had me messed up, man. Brushing out of there. Like, I was too blue. Like, this can't be right. Can't be. I don't want to have fried things. No, this lady. Oh my God, y'all! I gotta say this. This lady in the um, the store <laughs> that I was in to get my mama some Thanksgiving things or whatever. This lady like literally stood next to me. Like I hate people that be on my back in stores. Like first of all, it's COVID, and half of y'all don't have no mask on. One, two, you're all on me though. Like, and like, girl, are you dumb? Like that she's also oh, I'm not trying to cut you. I'm just letting the um the always always be clear. Why do you have to stand next to me though? Like that is like the question of the year. That makes no sense, lady. Like it makes no sense. Like that makes no sense in my head. And it's just so weird, like this yesterday i had about three people to like just be weird people i've talked to before and it's just like y'all ever had that like one day like all your like people that you used to talk to just happen to like say something to you in some way whether it's a dm a text a like on twitter like it just gets real like creepy like god what are you trying to tell me because i don't want none of them please send me like a fine tall Dark, dark chocolate, white teeth, waves, football player built, chained person. Like, that sound real cute to me. Real cute. And I have not found him yet. And that's fine. Well, he hasn't found me yet. Let me say that. He hasn't found me yet because need to go like on like a spiritual like journey like i really want to go on like a spiritual trip like y'all know how like left i went into like the forest like she was a little you know off or whatever but i really want to do that i feel like that would literally come i would be so bored but i would go on like a retreat like i would have to get up and do stuff with other people who's on the same like journey as me rather than me just going by myself trying to heal yeah that would be like dumb to do because I would not even I'll call everybody every single day like I'm so bored like why did I do this so 
I need to go. I need to even look up if that's a thing. I'm pretty sure somebody has made that a thing. If you're like going trying to do like a solo journey, but like you're with other people that you don't even know. <sighs> but see, I would get out there and be irritated because I don't know y'all. Like, why y'all trying to be in my business like that? Like, mm -mm. and I would just start asking everybody where y'all from. Like, where y'all from? Anybody say Ohio? That's too weird. No, y'all not. <laughs> When I lived in LA, y'all, like they had so many like, um, <laughs> they had so many different like terms that they use. Like the culture is so different and it's so crazy that like you go from one part of the like world to the next and it's like, it's a whole different culture. Like the way the music they listen to, like they didn't even, they never even heard Soulja Boy, B's going ham. Hmm? Have you, how have you not? That's a staple at any party in Cleveland. Like, what? They listen to New Religion by Soulja Boy. What is that? <laughs> Never heard of it. Never that. Then they played it. It was horrible. Horrible. Like, that's what, I'm like, y'all listen to that? Then I'm like, y'all cheese. You're cheese. They're like, what is that? You're corny. You're cheesy. Like, <laughs> do the context clues. So they're talking about some, yeah, that is dank. That's dank. Dank? <laughs> I said, what is dank? First of all, they're like, it's supposed to be used to be like about weed, but people use it for different things. Like she was saying that in and out fries are dank. Like this is dank. Like it's good. What? <laughs> that's dumb. <laughs> that's too dumb. But that's not dumb. Let me not. That's ignorant. That's not dumb because they probably think I'm dumb. But yeah, like, I'm just saying, like, that's fried. And it's so crazy because I hated L.A. while I was there, but, like, now I miss it, like, a lot. Um, and it's just so fried because, like, they really have fun in L.A. Like, they really have fun. Like, they know what fun is, okay? Like, my friend Carrington, her friends just had a whole, um, when I was there, Carrington had a brunch, and then she had, like, an Airbnb, and that was fun. Like, that was just fun in itself. And it wasn't even as extravagant as what her friends just did. So, her friends just had, like, they, they birthdays is, like, close together. So, they had a Friday. Friday, it was, like, a um dinner so it was like their actual like birthday dinner and they had a personal chef it was all director decorated everybody that um came had their own like sparkly like name tag but it wasn't even a name tag it was actually like a decor like i don't know how to explain it so like if my name it well my name is chloe so it would be chloe and it'll be like a silver like stand-up thing that you can literally take home as a keepsake and it's chloe in cursive and it's like silver with glitter all over it like how much did y'all pay for this party? <laughs> like, so that, I said, that is so cute. They have balloon arches everywhere. So that was Friday night. And yesterday was a game night. Like, what? I know y'all have fun all weekend. What? Like, that, I know that was fun. And her friends is so fun, though. Like, her friends is so fun. And they, it's such a big friend group. Like, it's been, they've been friends since high school and they have such a big friend group. And it's just so crazy. But, yeah. I've been on Instagram like, dang. I should have came back. Should have came back. Why is... <laughs> I'm trying to do me a mole, and this is, like, not even working. But, yes, they have so much fun. It's just, like... I wish I could do stuff like that, but I don't have friends. <laughs> like, literally, we had a Friendsgiving. It was only me and the other person. Who has friends? Who has friends? Even if we did invite other people, like... Well, even if I invited Diamond, that's three. That's not a Friendsgiving. Like... And... It's like that because we don't know how to make friends. Who wants friends? People have already like established their friend groups. Especially in Cleveland. Like people been friends since like high school. They met their high school friends with their other friends. Now they all are friends. Like, it's right. Like, so need to move. Twelve fifty three. 
think I'm doing all right. But give me some tips on how I can make friends. I'm not going on Bumble, so that's y'all tip. I don't want it. How do you make friends in person? So let me just go out and I'm gonna be awesome. You are so cute. You really make friends in the bathroom. You really make friends in the bathroom because everybody's intoxicated. Everybody thinks everybody looks great even when they don't. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And that's how you make friends. They be like, oh my God, let's find each other on Instagram. Oh my God, I love you. Oh my God. That's literally how bathrooms go. It'd be one, that one girl in the mirror, you'd be like, yeah, period, period. And she's like, period, don't hype me up, don't hype me up. Like, I made so many friends in the bathroom in college. Like, literally. I just like other nice, pretty girls. Like, especially when you're nice. I hate people that think they're just too good to like even speak. Like, girl, you're ugly. Like, don't even. But I'm done with my face. I'm about to do my lip and we're about to get dressed. I don't know what I'm about to wear. But I thought I wanted to wear this dress, but it's looking a little cold outside. And the other outfit that I could wear, I don't really want to wear them tennis shoes. So I need to order my Uggs, y'all. That's what I need to do this week. I need to order my Uggs. I need to order a lot. I need to order a hat, gloves, scarf, earmuffs. It's cold. It's real cold. I feel bad for the people that live downtown with the lake. I would never, never. What? Mm -mm. Yeah, but that's about it, y'all. So I'm about to go do my lip or whatever. I will be back um, after I do my hair. And I'll tell y'all what I'm about to wear. So I hope that you enjoyed me ranting and chit-chatting with you all while I did my makeup. Um, I hope you missed me as much as I did. So I will be back. Okay, hi guys, I did my lip, I did my hair, um, I put on an outfit, um, I have on like a black dress and I put um, a plaid shirt over and tied it in the front. Um, it's going to have to do because I don't have time to change. So I just wanted to get back on and just show you the final look. Um, I guess, how am I going to show y'all my outfit? I'll try to take a picture and then put it like on the screen so that you can see the full look. And... Um, yeah, so I'm about to head out now. Diamond's almost there. Um, I'm about 15 minutes away. And yeah. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know other videos that you would like me to do. Um, yeah. Y'all know I get awkward at the end because I don't know what to say. So yes, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.